my name is Justin Cuddery and I'm the Acoustic Solutions Manager at Jackson's Fencing and I've been working here for 15 years now. Our acoustic barrier and gate system was introduced in 2004 and was specifically designed to provide good noise reduction performance, sustainability, security and importantly to blend in with the surrounding environment. Since then, the Jacoustic range has grown to include absorptive and high security variants and the system has been used successfully across many sectors including transport, education, business and industry and housing. In fact, all the way up to protecting critical infrastructure. The way an acoustic fencing system works, as far as the reflective barrier is concerned, it needs to be a number of things in order for it to be a certified barrier, but the two basic principles are that one, it produces a surface mass density of at least 10 kilo per meter squared, and secondly, uh, it forms a completely airtight system. As soon as you have a structure which has two of those elements, rather than noise travelling straight through it as it would a normal domestic fence, the bulk of that noise will simply deflect straight back off. A normal domestic fence generally produces about four kilo of mass per metre square and is generally perforated. So that won't have any effect really against noise, whereas an acoustic barrier will, as a bare minimum, produce 10 kilo of mass per meter square and it's completely airtight. So the bulk of that noise that hits an acoustic barrier will simply deflect straight back off. We also do an absorptive barrier, but then it also has an added layer of mineral rock wall fibre. Now that particular layer will absorb a higher percentage of noise. The noise that penetrates through that will then hit the reflective surface and then bounce back off. A two metre high barrier will perform on one site will be completely different to another. It all depends on the particular frequency of noise that you're dealing with, how close or how far that noise is away from the barrier and where the receiver, where the particular individual, you are standing at any one point. So each site requires a different acoustic barrier in terms of its height, its length and its specification. Here at Jackson's Fencing we would recommend acquiring the services of a sound engineer. Now these individuals will come out to site, they will take various noise readings throughout the day and then they will send their clients, their customers, a very comprehensive sound report. As an example, an acoustic barrier 2.5 metre high, it needs to be a reflective system, it needs a minimum surface of 12 kilo per metre squared and if you have that in place you will get a reduction of 10.8 dB. We know we're in business because that represents a halving of sound, the acoustician has done his job and then we uh, can manufacture, supply and install for the customer and hopefully they get the desired effect from the system. So the effectiveness of an acoustic barrier is therefore determined by five main factors. Material density, barrier construction, barrier height, distance between noise source and receiver, and the relative height of source and receiver in respect to the barrier. How does an acoustic barrier work in practice? Let's take a look at how a acoustic reflective barrier performs against a variety of different noise sources. I hope this short film has helped to demonstrate just how effective the acoustic barrier is against environmental noise. 